hair grows faster when we cut it often. But unfortunately, that is a myth. Hello everybody, welcome to another video. My name is John and I'm a professional hairstylist. From you guys or either from my clients, I get so many questions regarding the hair. Is that true? Is it not? Is it a myth? So today, I collect all the most popular questions and I'm gonna answer it for you. Let's see if it's a myth or no. So let's not waste any time and let's get into it. So let's start with the first myth. Hair grows faster when we cut it often. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? I will be Rapunzel, and I'm sure not just me, but you as well. But unfortunately, that is a myth. But let's explain what is really happens. The hair, the growing from the roots. Each month, about one centimeter. That is equivalent, just under half an inch each month. And then, the length of the hair is the age of the hair. The very ends of your hair Obviously, if you don't cut your hair often or when it's needed, they start breaking, they start dying. They, you start having split ends, they're getting quite thin, more sensitive, so they're breaking easier. So the hair, they're growing from the roots, but they're breaking from the ends. That's why you have the illusion your hair, they never grow. But if you take care of your hair and you cut it when it's needed, your hair is going to look much nicer and the length is going to be much more visible for you and it's going to be much easier to grow your hair if you really want to. Here the tip is always trim your hair regularly but a little bit less from how much your hair grow. Basically, trim your hair. That way your hair is going to stay healthy and at the same time you're going to have a visible growing hair. Myth number two, dandruff is a dry scalp. Well, that is a big myth. Actually, it's exactly the opposite. Is the build up of a oil on the scalp. And then we have these white flakes on the hair. So for the, for the dandruff, what we need to do, we need to wash the hair regularly, use a targeting shampoos and minimize the stress. All this is going to help to improve your dandruff. Also, check on the description box all the links where I have all the sources so you can see all this information that are coming from a medical research and now only. Let's move to the next myth. You can't dye your hair when you're pregnant. Well, that, I would say, is a myth. Based on NHS website, it's safe to color your hair after the third month of your pregnancy. What happens? Maybe it was a true 20 or 30 years ago when the colors, it was very, very toxic. Nowadays, the products are much more friendly and less toxic. Also, if you're still very skeptical, you have many alternatives such as highlights where the color, it doesn't touch the scalp, so no chemicals are gonna penetrate your body, or semi-permanently colors where they don't penetrate again very deeply on your hair, they stay only on the surface of your hair. So they're much more safe if you're concerned. But as I say, and based what the science say, after three months of pregnancy, it's absolutely safe to color in your hair. Color your hair when the hair is greasy, is much better. Well, no, I'm sorry girls, but that is a myth. What happens? Years ago, when the colors, there was a little bit more toxic and a little bit more stronger with, for the scalp, or if you have sen sensitive skin, many times you might thought every time you color in your hair, you get that itchy and sensitive feeling on the scalp. 
obviously that is not the case anymore but if you still have a sensitive scalp it might happen so don't wash a hair maybe like a day before you color in your hair that's a great idea because the natural oils that are gonna come to the scalp is gonna protect you from this irritation but come with a greasy hair in the salon and coloring your hair is not gonna do any better if your hair is very greasy and especially on your hair it's gonna make more of a harm because because it's gonna make more difficult the color to penetrate into your hair so you might not have the result you want or the coverage you want on the gray hair if you have any so yes is a myth don't come to the salon with a greasy hair please don't do that uh, it's not really nice isn't it but if you have a sensitive skin don't wash your hair the day before that will be great stress cause gray hair well that actually is not a myth is actually true for years we thought is a myth there have been various studies but not many enough to find out if that actually was the true but recently in 2020 we have a new study from the scientists where they confirm the stress can create a gray hair is a hormone where we release when we are stressed and is affect the melanin of the hair i will have the link on the description box so you can see the study and see all the informations if you're curious about it so yes finally one of the myths with which is actually true so please don't stress it's not only cause gray hair but it's definitely is no good for your general health so again stress cause gray hair yes unfortunately is true so if you stress a lot please minimize it and it's worth it to have a look the study from the scientist hair oils makes your hair grow faster hmm this is a myth and i'm really really sorry i know i hear it all the time use oils on your hair they're gonna grow faster well unfortunately is a myth definitely using oils on your hair they're gonna keep your hair much healthier and more shiny and it's gonna feel more soft and much nicer but unfortunately it's not gonna speed up the process of the growth of your hair and again i have on the description box a links with the various studies where they confirm they didn't see any improvement on the people that are using hair oils but let's say eating healthy and eating omega-3 oils for example is gonna improve the conditioning and your health of your hair so your hair they might grow a little bit better so be healthy from inside is definitely gonna help your hair to grow nicely and healthy but applying the oils the only benefit you get is your hair to look more shiny more soft and don't breaking that easy on the ends split ends can be repaired oh that as well is a myth i'm sorry and especially the all the products and cosmetic brands they love to promote and sell all these uh, products to repair your hair from split ends and damaged hair but let's say that unfortunately split ends or very very damaged hair they're actually dead hair and is nothing but absolutely nothing we can do where we can bring a death back to a life i'm sure that will be an amazing thing we whew, can you imagine actually bring someone back to life that would be awesome if the scientist managed to do that please let me know that it would be amazing but unfortunately that's not the case i'm really sorry but using all these products what you do you prevent your hair of having split ends and 
eventually die and breaking. So you can repair split ends, but you can prevent it if you take care of your hair correctly and if you use the right products. Saving your hair make the hair grow thicker. Well, as well is a myth. Would be amazing. Well, and me, I will be right now talking to you with the afro hair, which unfortunately is not happening. Well, it's genetic how many felicitors and what type of hair we have on the scalp and on board in general, and we can't change it, it's a DNA. So, saving the hair, we're not making the hair grow thicker, but we're giving the illusion the hair is thicker, because it's shorter, always shorter hair, they look thicker than the longer hair. So, yes, it's a myth, and if it wasn't, no one of us, we will be either bald or with a fine hair. And that, it brings us to the end of the video. That, it was the most popular myths. I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something today. If you think I forgot something, please let me know in the comments below or any other questions you have. I will be more than happy to help you or hear your opinion. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you on the next video. But for now, bye bye!